Wait guys, hear me out. This is not another wallpaper organizer tutorial video for you to achieve an aesthetic laptop. But if you want to achieve this look, just keep on watching. And yes, let's get right into the video. The first is to open Canva. Choose a bank desktop wallpaper project to start. And after that, choose your desired color as your background. Or if you want, you can select something that has texture or a pattern depending on your preference. So I chose here this cream color and next is to search for a circular gradient element on the elements tab. They have free elements here and you can also customize them. You can choose the color you want and change the opacity. So I added this pink and purple combo and it does look cute. Next is to add some text. You can place a quote here or any message you want to include, then customize it. In this case, I used the King Red Modern font and adjusted its size. I then placed it here on the side. So this is optional, but I will add a line to show a connection with the next word I will add and just adjust its line weight. I then decided to add another text box on the other side. I used the Agrandir wide font and changed the letter spacing. Before I proceed, you can not only customize your laptop, but you can also customize your Tumblr or other things with this HTV Rond vinyl stickers. So I got them from HTV Rant and this is their self-adhesive vinyl and it comes in different colors. You can stick this on wood, glass, metal, ceramics, and plastics. Here I used it to decorate this glass but you can also use it to customize your other stuff. It is easy to use and it is very durable. Once you have printed your design, you need a Cricut machine to have the design you want. So here I have this city shadow design and next is to transfer it to a transfer sheet. Once you lay it down, scrape it so the design will transfer to this sheet. Scrape this until you see the design fully stuck and next is to peel it off and attach it to your item. So in my case, I will place it on this glass. And once you're okay with the placing, go over it and smoothen it out. Once the design sticks, you can now peel off the top sheet and you will have this customized glass. So here I tried to wash the glass if the vinyl will peel off, but good thing it didn't. You can basically customize a different object, just make sure it's on a smooth surface and is free from dust. Again, they have different colors available in their shop, so if you want to try it and be creative, you can click on the link below. And yes, thank you to HTV Rant for gifting this products. If you want to purchase and customize something, I have the link below in the description box. And let's now proceed with the video. So here I added this white frame which will serve as a frame for the apps I will include. You can then now add some more elements or photos to your wallpaper. Make sure to choose those with a transparent background. And by the way, I will also show you ways how you can remove a photo's background. And here, it is up to you what images you will include. Just make sure that it resonates with you and that it is a unique combo for you. So first, I added this tulips photo, a headphone, and some plate works which represent me being an archy student. If you were not able to choose a photo from Canva, you could also select some on Pinterest. Look for those within your themes so it will be cohesive. 
once you choose the photo you want upload it to canva and if you have pro subscription you can directly remove the background using the remove background feature so i then adjusted its brightness and size but if you don't have a canva pro you can use this website remove.bg to remove the background on your photo just upload the image and wait for the ai to do the trick once done download the photo again and here upload it to canva and as you can see they just look exactly the same which is a good thing so basically they just have the same result then repeat the process with the other images you will include in your wallpaper or another thing you can use the new feature from your iphone if you updated into ios 16 on which you can directly take out an object from a photo then you can upload it here to canva next you can adjust their location and rotate the photos a bit then here i decided to add text on some items just duplicate the line and text box and you can place it on some objects you can add their names but again this is optional after that go back to pinterest and look for some aesthetic icons so this will serve as the icon on the softwares you included on your desktop or the apps the number of icons also depends on you so you can add as many as you like but don't overdo it so once you choose some photos upload them to canva and repeat the process of removing the background again you can use the canva pro feature or the remove.bg free website so for you to know the size of the apps, you can screenshot your whole screen and paste it here to Canva. Make some necessary adjustments and organize the icons according to your liking. So I arranged them like this. And next, I decided to add a frame. You can add a photo here and it's either you use pictures from Pinterest or use your photo. Then do some adjustments. Once done, export the image as PNG and set it as your wallpaper. Going back to the icons, Open again another Canva workspace and use the 1080 by 1080 pixel canvas. Paste the icons you placed on your wallpaper and maximize their sizes. Once you're done adjusting their dimensions, export the photos as PNG. On a new tab, look for a PNG to ICO converter. So I will be linking this converter I used and I will place it on the description box. Just select the files, wait for them to upload and convert them to an ICO file. Once done, download the files to your computer. Going back to your desktop view, right click on it and on the view tab, choose the align icons to grid option. Arrange the apps on your laptop and when you're done, uncheck the Align Icons to Grid option, highlight the apps and arrange them so they will look balanced. Repeat this with other apps. Now I will share with you how you can customize the apps icon. 
first is to right click on an app, choose the properties option under the shortcut tab and click on the change icon. Click on the browse option, select the ICO file of the photo and click OK. Repeat this to other apps. Last, let's change the lock screen to complete the look. So I will choose this gradient wallpaper from Pinterest. So go again to the personalization tab on the settings app and on the lock screen, browse the photo of the wallpaper. And yes, we're now done with the customization. And here is the final look. If you want to customize your own wallpaper and use this template, you can click on the Canva link below. However, there may be pro elements I used on which this restricts you to save the output if you have a free account, but you can still create your own from scratch and utilize the other free elements. And again, if you want to purchase some HTV round vinyl stickers, just visit the description box and click on the link below. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. By the way, if you have some video suggestions, feel free to comment them down below. Thank you guys. Bye!